Hey, dog trainers, if you are looking for a way to market and sell your worth without training endlessly, then this is the video for you. My name is Michael Aceta. I go out and I find all the best marketing tactics for you. I test them on my own dog training business, and I make these videos so you can run a profitable business as well without making all the mistakes that I did. When I first started, when I first started training dogs, I was doing about 36 dogs a day for years. It was grunt work. It was terrible, although I loved the training and I got a lot of good stories out of it. It was just so time consuming and I wasn't making a lot of money because I didn't understand business. Now, high ticket dog training and other mentoring does not come in the form of done for you services where we're talking about dog training, personal fitness, physical coach, business coaching, whatever it is. High ticket training does not come at done for you services. What does that mean? There are three based services that you can offer somebody done for you, done with you and do it yourself. Now we can get more complex and mix them together, but those are your base service options done for you, done with you and do it yourself. High ticket offers usually fall into the done for you and done with you options. This means done for you. I'm going to hundred percent do it for you. Done with you means we're going to walk hand in hand and accomplish it together. If you really want to see your clients succeed, then they need to do the training, which means you cannot do it for them. We, like we all know this, right? You need to train the owner, not just the dog. We know this. So in order to get the best results, we need to be selling done with you training, not done for you. Even if you do a board and train program, do the board and train, that's you doing it. But then you have to accompany that with done with you training. Otherwise, they're not going to be successful and you're going to be doing a lot of the grunt work. You're going to be doing all the work actually and getting none of the benefits. This means we can teach them how to do it in so many different ways. You could do courses, books, classes. You could do anything that comes to mind, a, a medium that you can go through to teach someone your program, your concepts, your philosophy. You don't have to limit your time to one-on-one -on -one training or doing 100% of the work yourself. This is how you can structure your new offer, particularly to sell itself. Here's what you're going to do. I call it, I call it the core offer and embellishments. It all starts with the problem that you're trying to solve. So if you are not clear on who your target audience is, who you'd love to work with, and the problem that they're having that you are uniquely qualified to solve, it's not going to work. So you got to figure that out first. So let's say your client has a reactive dog, right? And they want to go for walks in peace. Well, they have a reactive dog and they want to go for walks in peace. That's fantastic. That's our core offer. Let's say your client is an older dog and they want to build some strength so they can continue to do the fun stuff, right? So you're going to be doing health and conditioning or your client wants to set their puppy up for success without using any punishment. These are very clear and specific goals that someone might have based off a target market, right? We have reactive dogs, we have older dogs, and we have puppies. If you understand who your target audience is and how you can serve them, we can move to step two. So all of these problems can be solved with your core offer, reactivity with counter conditioning, desensitization, and focus training. That's fantastic, but that is just base level, right? That should, that should already be there. Any dog trainer, that should be the standard. Health conditioning and balance equipment for balance and coordination with an older dog trying to keep their, their whereabouts with them, right? Basic obedience training with positive reinforcement techniques. Again, that's just a core offer. So here's how we're going to make it that much better, right? All these core offers can be improved. And that brings in more value for the offer and allows you to charge more per customer. So if that was the core offer, let's say one-on-one -on -one coaching with you, how can you add more to it? Do you add a course? Do you add follow-up training? Do you add uh, a, a class? So let's say we have reactivity training, plus we get to train for an event like marathon running, hiking, outdoor activities with distractions. So maybe your one-on-one -on -one coaching is reactivity training, and then you make smaller courses, different programs for marathon running training outdoor activity training, hiking training, working around more intense distractions based off the activity they want to do. Now you've gotten really clear on the specific problem that person's dealing with and why they want it solved. Not only do I just want to take my dog for a walk because they're reactive, but I'd really like to run a marathon with my dog. That was one of my favorite clients. She did absolutely fantastic. She had a German Shepherd. She had a reactivity and we were able to get her to do marathons, which was remarkable, right? Same thing with conditioning with the older dog and basic obedience. Right? Maybe for basic obedience with puppies, instead of just saying, hey, here's the core offer we're going to teach you, the embellishments I'm going to add is I'm going to give you all the tools you need in order to successfully train. I'm going to give you the treat pouch. I'm going to give you the leash. I'm going to give you a clicker. 
whatever it may be. Of course, you have to do some business logistics and you know cost per acquisition and all that kind of stuff. But adding more value is how you're going to be able to sell higher ticket offers. And the best way to do that is by adding embellishments like this. They don't have to cost a lot, but they add more value because you're solving more problems that they have. So if you're struggling with what to add, you're like, okay, I get it. I should add. I got to build more value, but what do I add? Here's three questions you should ask yourself. What would I want if I was buying this from someone? If my dog was reactive, what would I want to have in a training program to help me solve it? Right? Life hacks, how to manage things, how to recognize dangerous situations, how to keep notes and stay on top of things. Right? How, what would I like to have if I was buying this program? Number two, what other problems will my client have while we are training? So in the event of the older dog doing conditioning, maybe the other problem they're having is they don't know what they should be feeding their dog. So now we're going to bring in a dietitian, or maybe you are uniquely qualified as a dietitian for dog trainers. That's a wonderful way to add value. And number three, what am I willing to do regardless of how ridiculous it might seem? All right, then only choose the best. So you're going to make this massive list. I want you to do this today. Make this massive list of everything you could possibly do for somebody. You'd fly out to them and train their dog. You would go pick their dog up, bring them to your house every day. Um, you would call them every morning and tell them what they're supposed to do with their dog. You'd send them a training plan every day specifically designed for their environment, their situation. Maybe you go on Google Maps and find them locations to train. You say, hey, go over here and train. Hey, go over here and train. Right? What are you willing to do and what are you not willing to do? And then only pick the best. So that's how you're going to build out this core and embellishment offer. With an offer like this, marketing becomes really easy since literally just telling people the amazing offer you present sometimes is all it takes. It's also called a no-brainer. And better yet, your customers will be so amazed with the offer and the results that you get for them that they will spread the word for you. Right? The virality of amazing services and things that people really enjoy, you have no control over. However, you can influence it by being so good, so amazing, so valuable to someone that they tell their entire friend base, their entire family. If you want to learn more marketing strategies and my personal favorites for all dog trainers to start with, then watch this video next. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.